Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. Our demo T40 units just came in last Friday. We haven't opened one up yet. This is our first time doing it, my first time doing it. I haven't seen one live in person. So we thought we'd bring you guys along as we pull it out of the box, look through everything inside, and show you just what this thing looks like. Let's take a look. All right, we'll open the top up here. What do we got? Well, looks like uh, some possible charging station pieces. This looks like the radiator for the battery charger. Some assembly required. More pieces for the radiator. Same. Okay, let's see what's under this. There she is. In all our glory. 40 liter spray tank, about 10 and a half gallons. So we've got our RTK modules on the back of the drone. There's our battery port right there. So RTK module on the back of the drone this time. Radar is on the top this time. So remember the T20 and T30, T10. Radar's on the bottom. This time they put it on the front. Four arms, each with two propellers. Pumps mounted on the tank. Let's lift it out of here. I think the box should just go right up and over. Here we go. It's much easier than the T30. How about that? Bungees. No arm pads this time. Like we'll have to lift it up and out to get any further. Something else down at the bottom. There we go. There's a the controller box. A little bit different than the T-30s. All right, let's fold it out and see what it looks like. Props are enormous. Big beefy clamps on here. Look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> that is wild. And there's eight of them. Now that's how you generate lift. Spray module. Antenna on the bottom. Now what's interesting about these motors here is A, yes, they are stacked, but look in the center of this motor, the antenna comes out. That means this motor shaft is hollow. That way you can get an antenna through on the bottom, on the, this side and on the back side. That's where your spray module comes through is the center of that motor. Interesting. So here it is. 
This thing is massive. These props are twice the size of a T20 prop, and there's eight of them. We should get that Mavic Mini out here just to compare. Go grab that. Let's take a closer look on the front of this thing, because there's a few differences that we haven't mentioned yet. So radar on the top, like we said, and you see right here, that's binocular vision, they call it. So very similar to how a Mavic does obstacle avoidance. They've added that as a feature on the T40. Look down here. It looks pretty similar to a Mavic camera also. It's got a gimbal on it. So the camera on here, just one camera, the T30 has two front and rear, but the front and rear camera on the T30 is really only used for, you know, first person view. Whereas this camera is FPV and mapping. So it has a gimbal, it points straight down. So you can actually do mapping with this drone too. Can't wait to try that out. Tank, real similar. Let's check inside of there. Doesn't look like there's a live level meter in the tank. But something I do notice on the tank are scales. Right back there. That's a scale. Liquid tank fits right on that scale. My guess is the volume of this tank is measured by the weight. That is really interesting. That's going to make probably a lot more accuracy when it comes to discharge rate uh, and a lot more accuracy and when it comes to, you know, how much is in the tank. Uh, when you take off and while you're while you're operating yeah i'm gonna try to pull it out this tank should just pull out well ah uh, here we go our hoses connect directly to the tank so look on the back side of this tank so you notice as i pick this tank up the pumps are attached to it so on every other drone that DJI has made, the pumps stay on the drone itself. Pumps on here come off with the tank. This is going to reduce the weight whenever you put your granular tank in. Really good idea. Let's we'll see if we can figure out how to take this tank out. Plug on the front. Pretty easy to access. And it looks like we've got connections right here. They actually put fins on them so we can take those off with our fingers. Pull that right out, snap it back on. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Now it should just pull right out. it goes that's how easy the tank is to take out and here we go I was wondering about this we have three scales yeah so front of the tank sits on that scale and rear tank sits on the back two scales we're gonna bust open a spreader tank and throw it in here also so I'm curious so here you go check out the back of our spray tank very similar to what we're used to here uh, coming out of our spray tank, it looks like liquid pulls through the pumps first. Now this is different. So in every other Agris drone, liquid comes out of the tank and through the flow meter first. In this one, it comes out of the tank and through the pumps first, and then through the flow meter, and then to the nozzles. Just love how modular this thing is. Everything's really easy to access. Everything's really solidly built. Let's see if there's a filter in the bottom. There's always been a filter in the bottom on every other DJI drone. So this will be our bottom valve. And it's in there somewhere. Perhaps right here.
there's our filter we have to take this out first take this off there our filter is not quite as easy with this design but typically you don't have to clean that very often unless you're running some dirty product and you can drain it just right there so you can take that off to drain it but if you need to take your filter out looks like you have to kind of you know remove your your pump assembly but the great thing is this tank pulls out really easily so that's not too hard there it goes these pumps are actually smaller than the t30 pumps my guess is this is an unpressurized spray system so we don't have to have a lot of pressure build up in the pump to push liquid through because our nozzles are centrifugal style nozzles uh, atomization nozzles all right now since we've got an empty space here we might as well throw the spreader in Things hefty. Look at that. 70 liter capacity on this tank. I don't know how much weight this is going to hold, but that's so just for reference, the T40 was, or excuse me, T30 was 40 liter capacity on, on the granular tank. This is 70 liter capacity. And real similar to how all the rest of them come in it just drops straight in sits right on those scales that's beautiful and you notice how these bars in the bottom are bent so the t40s were excuse me t30s were straight across now these bars aren't bent and your spreader is actually located right below that bend that means it'll shoot granular product underneath that bend straight out the side Yep, one single plug plugs right into the same plug that the liquid tank came out of. That's super easy, right there. Just plugs right in right there. Super easy. Let's look inside. Huge opening. You can get a seed tender spout in this opening. Well, probably you know, at least 11 inches uh, in diameter. Looks pretty similar on the bottom to the T30 as far as the mechanism for detecting if there's product in there and the gate there is a dump valve here i uh, notice so you know, if you need to dump product out you can just pull that plug off and dump product right out that is convenient so just for size comparison this is a this is dji's smallest drone the mini and this is dji's biggest drone t40 here you go there you go. It's as big as a radar. This drone, you don't need a 107 to fly because it's so light. This drone, you need a 44807 to fly because it's so heavy. How about that? All right, let's come around to the back side of the drone. I want to take a look at these atomization nozzles. There's not much we can tell about them right now, but maybe we can explain how they work. So coming through the arm is going to be uh, your your liquids. So you can see your hose right there. Hose goes in through the arm, travels through these rear arms, comes down through the center of the motor, and then you see it exits right there. So your liquid is going to be discharged actually in the center of this this mechanism here. Inside here, there's a motor. This motor is going to spin a disc, and as that disc spins, depending on the RPM, the liquid will be dropped in unpressurized on the center of this disc, and then spread out just like that in every direction and your there we go yep there you can see it spinning 
And depending on your RPM, it's that determines your droplet size. And I'm just curious here. We're going to take this thing apart, see if we can see anything else inside of it. I'm going to be the first to break a T40 in the United States. All right, we're going to leave that there until we actually need to take it off. ESCs located right here look very similar to the T30 ESCs, slightly larger, and they're stacked on either side of the arm. Modularity looks very similar to what we're used to with the T30. Uh, looks like we use very similar brackets for the arms. Uh, the frame, very similar style on the frame. Um, looks like, yep. Underneath here, very similar to the T30. Power distribution board right there. I'm missing one over here on this side. Unless it popped off already. On the front, yep, same thing. We have to take those off to get to the front distribution board, but it's underneath there. We've got spotlights just like every other drone uh, that, that we've ran. Only these spotlights look quite a bit bigger. You guys, I think that's about it. All right, let's take a look at the controller. <laughs> now we knew this controller was going to be bigger. Just how much bigger is it? Tanner, you want to grab a T30? There you go. T40 controller. Massive screen. No idea how these fold out. There we go. Yeah, kickstand. Somehow, maybe forward. there is side by side with the t30 remote now we'll check out the battery so this is the t40 battery you can see the footprint's really the same as a t30 battery here you go very similar in size this actually will fit into a t30 we have tried it we haven't powered it on but it will fit now, interesting on here is we've got fins, cooling fins. I imagine this battery discharges pretty quick. Look at the rating on here. Looks like our nominal voltage, 52.2 volted volts. Uh, rated capacity, 30,000 milliamps. So it's actually not that much bigger as far as capacity than our T30 battery. 29,000 milliamps on the T30 battery. A bit higher voltage um, on the T40. Uh, but really not that much bigger. I would imagine cooling is the main advantage on this T40 battery. What else? I think that's it. We've unboxed battery. We've unboxed remote. We've unboxed drone, spreader tank, liquid tank. I think that's it. All right, guys. Well, we're going to be bringing more videos as far as how we actually operate on the software. Uh, what we think uh, in terms of that compared to the T30 and a whole lot of other stuff coming in the very near future.